sketchiest part of the course when you were out there? You know, it was a pretty safe course overall. Uh, the let me see. Yeah, this corner right here, you can almost see the sun was setting right behind this gray building, um, which caused like a flare in your glasses. So like the first five or six laps, I couldn't see anything going through that corner. Mm. It was just kind of pick your line and trust that everyone else is going to hold their line. Um, yeah. You know, it wasn't really sketchy, but coming into the right hander, almost every lap somebody was dive bombing that corner. And you could make up a bunch of spots right there if you wanted to. breakaway group sprint how did all that what were you guys thinking as far as tactics yeah i mean we wanted a breakaway um on a course that isn't really suited for a breakaway so we knew it was going to be hard to achieve but you know you don't know unless you try and then it's try to find opportunities to attack and see what can happen um you know if you get the right mix in a breakaway and nobody chases it then any course can be a breakaway course but uh you know it's hard to get that special you know, one guy from every team that every team is happy with being in a breakaway, so. Follow Colby Simmons, world tour rider. He just attacked. Should have been on that wheel. You were on his wheel. You oh, just didn't. Development team. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> he did get second. It's pretty impressive. He did get second. No, I probably should have followed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's one thing. For I mean, me it was to hard sit here. Front. Yeah, that's what I was say. It's easy for me to sit here and say, why did you follow him? And the, and the, the easy answer is because I didn't have the legs. <laughs>
I had thought that you could have sat and let that gap grow. Um, so why'd you chase, like, why'd you, right here, this little gap, I would have just said, you know, there's a Legion Rider, Blazers Rider, let them go, maybe they'll Yeah, for sure. I was in a good position to block there, too. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It probably wasn't the smartest decision. Um, I didn't drag the field up. Like, I checked back and I had a gap on the field, so I thought, yeah, but, you know, we'll go. We'll push the pace a little bit and see. At least I'll yeah. maintain a good position. I didn't take any pulls here, so I was just kind of following mm -hmm. these guys. This is when the race got pretty fast um, and it got a lot more costly to move up. It was, you know, through those corners was like, especially in the peloton or near the back, wherever I was, um, you're sprinting out of each one of those corners and then moving up on these straights became a lot more costly.
something we need to work on is maintaining each other's wheels like we're all more used to riding kind of on our own in the peloton and just filling gaps um and i i'm not sure if you're gonna get it but there was a moment where uh i think i was on kyle's wheel and ferg was on my wheel and we slid to the left of the kyle and kind of filled in some gaps in the peloton rather than letting those gaps be and sticking with Kyle's wheel. And I think that's kind of when we started to get separated. You know, I, I feel like I, it's a lesson you have to learn again and again, but like you have to make that race ending effort not on the last lap, but mm. with like four or five laps to go in order to get into position. And like you're not going to lose more than four or five spots in the last lap, even if you have nothing left in your legs. So uh, I just always have to like remind myself when it's five to go, like this is the last lap, and then you'll survive for three or four more laps. Like that race, we're realistically probably not going to beat Luke Lampredi and Ty Magner and these guys, but if you wanted to get a top 10, you had to do your sprint with three to go and then just hold your position. Yeah, I don't know. What were yeah. your thoughts? I, what you said makes sense. That the, the, anything that's, out that's hard for me, like the, the last, the, the, the sprint for position and then the sprint. And the sprint for position is honestly more important than the actual sprint. Um, and last year I yeah. was in a similar situation, like I was way too far back. And then when, when we saw two to go, I pretty much like made this huge effort on the start finish stretch, just on the left hand side and went from probably like 60th to top 20. And then I basically just held that until for the last two laps and, and almost got a top 10. So like. Yeah, like it wasn't a, a deal, um, but like I knew I had to put in that effort to like get there because otherwise it was going to be too late. Yeah, when you don't have a team leading you out, like that's that's the move you got to make.